and it's that time of year once again. While it's cold and wet, it's a time of year where many of us get together and celebrate Christmas together. We decorate our houses for our own enjoyment and to give others some Christmas spirit. It's a time of year where everything is festive and lit up around us. A time of year where we go out with friends and family and spend quality time together doing different festivities. For some, they get to have a white Christmas, although I'm sure most would prefer not to. We put up trees and put our presents around the Christmas trees. We make the house look all Christmassy. And for many, sit around the fire with a nice cup of hot chocolate. But for kids, they love Christmas mainly for toys. But I love to see my kids' faces light up as they make their way down the stairs to see the presents surrounding the tree. The tidying though, not so much. I hope your Christmas wishes all come true. Merry Christmas everyone. I'm Mr Grinler and here are my creatures. I just want to wish everyone a merry merry Christmas so it's quite unusual you know it's a Sunday and Christmas is today so my video falls on Christmas Day and I, I, I don't know I, I wasn't actually gonna post a video at first I thought to myself you know what I might just leave it um, just not post one and then I thought I, I, I can't do that I don't ever miss you know a Sunday video apart from the other week when I posted it at like half term but you know we won't talk about that <laughs> Got my uh, coffee. But you know, you can't forget about the tarantulas on Christmas Day. So for today's episode, I know it's going to be another tarantula feeding video. I do apologise. I never, oh, I don't know, I never used to do tarantula feeding videos. And now I've posted quite a couple, so I probably won't post any for a while. But you can't forget about the tarantulas on Christmas Day. And I also, before we get into that, I also want to read... A little story to you guys so you know we've been we've tried to be a bit creative here so legend of the Christmas spider don't know if you guys can see that so I didn't write this story and there are so many different versions that I've read it's unreal but you know I wanted to read you this one and like I said tried to be creative <laughs> and inside is the story so yeah, I'm going to read this out to you, and then we're going to get into the feeds. So, let me get my book prepared. A little Christmas story for you guys. <laughs> Got my coffee. Loving life. So, the legend of the Christmas spider. Once upon a time, a long time ago, a gentle mother was busily cleaning her house. No. I might actually get this wrong a couple times, so yeah. Didn't really think about that, my English ain't the best. Let's start that again. Once upon a time, long ago, a gentle mother was busily cleaning the house for the most wonderful day of the year. The day on which the Christ child came to bless the house. Not a speck of dust was left. Even the spiders have been banished from their cosy corner in the ceiling to avoid the housewife's busy cleaning. They finally fled to the farthest corner... Farthest? The farthest corner of the attic. It was Christmas Eve at last. The tree was decorated and waiting for the children to see it. But the poor spiders were frantic, for they could not see the tree, nor be present for the Christ child's visit. 
but the oldest and wisest spider suggested that perhaps they could peep through the crack in the door to see him. Silently they crept out their attic, down the stairs and across the floor to wait in the crack in the threshold. Suddenly the door opened a wee bit, and quickly the spiders scurried into the room. They must see the tree closely, since their eyes weren't accustomed to the brightness of the room. So they crept all over the tree, up and down over every branch and twig, and saw every one of the pretty things. Everywhere they went they had left their webs, and when the little Christ child came to bless the house, he was dismayed. Maybe? That's how you say it? I really should get better at English. He loved the little spiders, for they were God's creatures too. But he knew the mother who had trimmed the tree for the little children wouldn't feel the same. So he touched the webs and they all turned sparkling, shimmering silver and gold. Ever since that time, we have hung tinsel on our Christmas trees. And according to the legend, it has been a custom to include a spider among the decorations on the tree. Quite a good little story. But now we're finished with the legend of the Christmas spider. Let's have a look at some of these feeds. Ding dong, ding, them bells are playing loud and clear. Dong, ding dong, they're saying it's that time of year. For dreams of snow and stolen kisses need the mistletoe. For kids from one to ninety-six with eyes and hearts aglow. Ding dong, bells they chime, for now it's Christmas time. Yuletide carol choirs, angels in the snow. Chestnuts open fires, rise from long ago. Heart the herald, all ye faithful golden days of yore. Listen to the same old songs a thousand times and more. Ding dong, bells they chime, for now it's Christmas time. Bells are ringing clear and bright. Dong, ding, dog on bells they ring throughout the night. You spouse of kin and child of sibling come and gather near. Eat and drink, invade my house like every single year. Ding dong, I mean saying it's Christmas time. And frolic, oh by gosh, some stolly eggnog, gin and tonic make you tight, gay and jolly. Same procedure every year. I just can't get enough. I drink till Rudolph reappears. A toast to him, that red nose dear. Jingle them bells and frolic, it's the best day of the year. Come fly with me now, Rudy. I'm loaded.
hours and minutes Till the last week of December For me the Christmas spirits flow As early as September It's the best of seasons Come and raise your glass and sing No need for other reasons Glory to the newborn king I drink to Santa and his helpers too Here's to mistletoes and here's to you Jingle them bells and frolic come Let's sing and dance and cheer It's the best time of the year The best day of the year Yes, it is the best day of the year Here, here
So that is all the footage for this video, and I want to say once again a Merry Christmas to everyone. So, you know, I really do hope you've had a wonderful day, whether it's been with your family, uh, whether it's been with friends, you know, Christmas is just a wonderful time. Like I said, I really love Christmas, and it's all about the kids for me, if I'm honest. I, I just love seeing their faces so happy and, you know, just eating food, <laughs> opening presents, just being all with each other. It's, it's good. So I do hope you carry on having a wonderful Christmas for those of you that watch this during the premiere. And uh, for those of you that aren't watching it and, you know, watching it a couple days after or weeks later, I hope you had a good Christmas as well. And my next video is not going to be out until New Year's Day and I will be doing a video on New Year's Day. It's going to be kind of like a special one, you know, like a recap for the year because it's a new year, 2023. I can't believe it's going to be 2023. It's absolutely mental. It has been a, you know, the years just fly by now for me. Uh, I, I don't know what it is, they just fly by. But uh, yeah, I'm going to do a nice little recap video. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's all going to be good. But I want to wish you all a wonderful, wonderful New Year's, you know. Be careful if you go out New Year's Eve. You know, do responsible stuff. Yeah, that's what I said, do responsible stuff. <laughs> but yeah, just have a great time, guys, and be responsible. And carry on having a great Christmas, guys. So that is it for today's episode. So if you could like, comment and share, that would be absolutely great. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon so you're notified of when I upload next. Don't forget guys, I've got channel membership and Patreon now. Five different tiers so if you want to help and support the channel, there is a link down in the description. But Mr. Grinnell has done it. So are my creatures, so are my Balfouris. And from all of us here at Mr. Grinnell's Creatures, along with all the Tarantulas, we want to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Have a great week, guys. You'll deserve it. Peace.